Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, we are going to do an afternoon hit on a local stream here. And it's a beautiful warm afternoon in the 60s here in May. And the bugs are hatching and I'm hoping the trout are going to be active. Uh, we're going to be going after some brown trout. And this is an inland stream, so these aren't going to be lake run fish. Uh, the, the state does stock brown trout in this stream. And it does hold over a lot of fish as well. There's some monster fish in this stream. Uh, heard of them caught up to 24, 26, 28 inches over the last year. Some Just some monster browns. So it does hold over fish year after year and definitely grows some really big fish. Uh, I really doubt I'm going to get anything anywhere near that big today, but you never know. Um, I'm hoping, uh, just hoping for some fish. So I'm going to be fishing a little 64th ounce jig under a float. Going to tip the jig with a spike. Usually, a small stream like this, I'd be fishing maybe a three gram float, but I'm going to put the big fatty uh, nine grammer on there uh, just because the GoPro picks it up a lot better. We're almost there, got about probably five minutes away, and we'll be fishing. There's gotta be something there. Gotta be, come on. Spot is meant. Let's try this from the other side, see if we can get up under those roots right there. It looks pretty deep over there too. There's a good one. That one dropped it pretty good. It's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, boys. That's a nice fish, boys. Look at that. Nice brownie. this beautiful all colored up about probably 14 inches maybe eat that little black jig thanks buddy there he goes see if we can get another one over there He was angry, sunk that nine gram float. See him rising everywhere here. There's a lot of midges hatching. They're picking those midges off the surface. Nice little pool on the other side there. Let's see if we can pull one out of there. Definitely see fish rising on that current break. Oh, I think one just grabbed me right there. Trying to stay low so these fish don't see me. Yeah. Might be one sitting right under that tree there. Nah, that wasn't far enough. Nothing there. Okay. Nice deep pool right here. Let's see, I kind of got to fish this side of the tree. 
Awesome. Something hit it. Oh, I missed him. There is one there. At least one there. But we'll see. They seem like they're kind of a little spooky. There looks good. Come on, eat that. There he is. Nice, nice. Just a little guy, but he sunk the float for us. She did. Little brownie. Not bad. Maybe nine incher. Thank you for participating. See if we can get another one out of this hole here. Seem to be up at the top, but I'd have to get upstream and try to run it under that tree. Oh man, they're just grabbing it and dropping it quick. I'll try the other side. I don't know if I can sneak one through here or not. This is risky. There he is. <laughs> I got him. Oh man. You can get him through these sticks. Nice. It's another little guy. That's why I like this short little rod, cause literally trying to sneak a cast through a little four foot hole between the trees here. Oh, easy buddy, easy. Another little guy there, a little nine inch or so. This rod's almost even <laughs> too long for this. Oh, there's another one. There's some sitting right there under that bush. Well, that's a fox elder tree, actually. Fox elder sapling growing out over the creek there. Probably stocked recently here. It's a nice little brownie. Spikes up today. It's not always easy to find spikes this time of year, but uh, look how lively these guys are. Brownies are liking them. This is a better one there. Hammered it. Hammered it. It's not a 24 incher, but it'd be a 15 incher. Oh yeah, 
That's a better fish. That was fun.